Well, we're halfway through our Tongariro crossing and the Tamari crater has just exploded again. This is the crater that exploded on August 6, and it's just erupted again behind us, literally after we've had lunch. It's, it's certainly a different feeling to anything else I've ever had on a trek, for sure, and just concerned about the size of the, the cloud and how big the eruption is, whether it's a precursor to something bigger again or not. So we're just climbing down and I was actually thinking about going in the lakes behind you and we looked up and we saw a big plume of smoke. Uh, I guess that was the crater erupting. It was a steam-driven eruption is what the geologist was saying. I mean as a tourist this is kind of unbelievable. I mean on the bus ride over the, the tour guide was saying that you know the chances of an eruption is 0 0.0001. He was giving all the safety advice. I was like oh there's no way. Um, I don't know I heard a whole bunch of people out here going screaming and, yeah. and, and then it took a minute for me to look up and then realize yeah. that there was explosion. So yeah. I know it's disappointing we can't cross, but it's kind of cool to yeah. see as yeah. well. No, this is a once in a lifetime thing. Um, in a way, it's, it's, it's scary, but also very exciting for me to see something like this. Well, I've been trekking for, gee, nearly 30 years now. And this is the most unique experience I've ever had on a trek. I think it's just so outside the gamut of anything else I've experienced in that 30 years. It's amazing.